home, man. Yeah. It's, it's been a ride, huh? <laughs> yes. Welcome back, everybody, to a fresh episode of Teak Mead. We have finally gotten out here. Um, yeah. And uh, no more shenanigans. At least for moving wise. Yeah. Uh, so this is a permanent life. thing. We will be out here full time. So yep. this is the beginning of our Missouri saga. Yep. Um, the again, show, show again. Saga. Yeah, the show me <laughs> saga. Um, so again, welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's it's good to have you back. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it's good to be back. It's been two, almost three months now since we've done an episode. Yes. And uh, I, I think we've got quite a bit to catch up on uh, as far as announcements and possible things that may happen uh, within the coming year. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, well, since we're back home, of course, Four Brothers is just up the road from us. So yep. and as you can see, there's a bunch on the bar. Yep. But you were saying these are, well, this one. This is one we've oh, had before. We've had do we want to do that one first? Yeah, we yeah, can do that sorry. one first. <coughs> so this is the Fenris Bay. We did this. This was one of our first, our very first ones. Was it? I yeah, think it was. that we did um, when we did our our sample of Four Brothers in Virginia. Um, so it's kind of a full circle thing. Um, when I got this one, it was I think it was the only one that they had left in stock. And uh, I remember this being one that you really liked, so I wanted to get this for you as a uh, welcome home gift. Well, thank you, so, thank you. This um, is a uh, mead aged in bourbon barrels. Yep. So, if I remember correctly, oh, Luna's growling at something. Um, if I remember correctly, it was one of those where it was more of a sipper than a drinker or something. Right. Uh, if you were a bourbon drinker, it would be right up your alley. Oh yeah, so of course you got that beautiful gold that they're so known for. Mm -hmm. I mean, all all of them have a beautiful tinge to them, no matter yeah. what one you grab from Four Brothers. Sure. It's just yeah, it's got that really good <coughs> kind of honey bourbon aroma to it. Yeah, um, you don't have to stick your nose too far into it yeah, but to it's really not... get a good whiff. Right, but it's not that overpowering like some of the bourbons have where it's like... Where you don't want... You yeah. feel like you just got maced. Yeah. So, well. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Yep. So... Just as good as I remember it. Oh, yeah. It's got that really nice bourbon flavor without really a whole lot of that bite. You get the bourbon from the bourbon kind of flavor from that from that barrel. But you still get that sweetness from the honey. Um, oh yeah. And, it's and a nice it, it's a nice touch. And, and just like you were saying, it's not you know, it's not a overpowering hit, but you get a little There's a small bite in there. Yeah, a little warm. Which is uh yeah. very fitting <laughs> for the name. And and it, it's hilarious anytime we do any of Four Brothers because it's like we already know we're gonna like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we haven't had one from them that we haven't liked. Yeah. Um, obviously, we like some of certain ones more than others, but but that's probably them, not unexpected. Yeah, none of them are. A, none, none of them okay. have been like, yeah, yeah, I would never drink this again. Yeah. Kind of thing. So uh, we got to make a trip back up there. Yes, very soon. Very soon. And if you take it in a bigger gulp to hold it longer, yeah, you get more, more, that, more of that burn. Uh, oh, and this one, by the way, is coming in at. They all, I think they all come in at sixteen. Yeah, they're all sixteen <coughs> percent. But um, uh, well, there's that one. I guess this one is the one we haven't tried yet. Yeah. So this is a new one that they well new for us. Yeah. Um, this is the one from last month's uh, special release. Um, it's called Baldur's Dream. Uh, it's supposed to be reminiscent of like a blueberry crisp flavor. So it's, it's mead with blueberries 
maple, graham cracker, and orange peel, which is an interesting combination. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, Baldur was the son of Odin um, and had dreams which caused the gods to be concerned for his life. Um, kicking off a series of events involving Odin, Hel, Loki, Hold, along with several gods in a saga for the ages. So Baldur's dreams, essentially what it was, foretold the coming of Ragnarok. Um, and what was the story? Was that uh, his mother went around and made a, made a, a bargain with every creature in in the, in the realms, and not not in the plants, except not to it. harm uh, Baldur, except for the mistletoe. She overlooked it, and Loki, being Loki, Loki, <laughs> um, I guess at some point felt slighted. For something and so he went and grabbed some and I don't remember exactly how it goes but somehow Baldur uh, was killed through the use of mistletoe so well, we can check with the historian yeah are we about right on that one was it based on a weapon or something yeah we'll there look more into it we're, we're, I think yeah. we're, we're about right yeah, I think so. It's pretty close. Well, but anyway. But it's got a really nice, um, really nice color. Yeah, um, brown. It's more red. of like a reddish kind of berry, yeah. light, light blueberry. Like if you actually look at blueberry juice, it's more, surprisingly, it's more of like a reddish color. Yeah. Um, mm. And right off the bat, you get a kind of a, I got more of a graham cracker smell um, right up front. Yeah, uh, kind of like a tinge of blueberry. Yeah, kind of like if you do uh, like pre bake on a, on a graham cracker crust. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what you get, yeah. and then just like a hint of a blueberry in the background. But you get it the other way around when you taste when you it. Taste it's, it. It's blueberry with some graham cracker. It's not. But you get that throughout the entire. Yeah. Thing. It's not. It's not. The maple is situation. the maple is kind of hidden by the graham cracker, but it's in there. <coughs> and that orange peel is a nice kind of touch to to the uh, to that blueberry that's in there. As yeah. Well. So that one's a really good one. Um, and of course, we chilled both of these. Um, mm. It's been kind of hot lately. And yes, it's, it's a nice it's a nice break from the heat. So. Well, and unpacking a sixteen foot truck for oh. all of our stuff that's been fun. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that one's really good. Yeah, I think we've got a couple more bottles of this. No, and uh, if, if, since this one's been released, I have a distinct feeling that this would be a regular thing. That we'll probably get. Oh yeah, this it's is a nice, it's a nice summer, summer flavor. Yeah, it's it's not <coughs> super heavy like like some of the meats we've had where oh. it's it's a uh, we gotta be in the right mood, but yeah, it's a lot lighter, a lot not calmer, but it's hard to describe. Yeah. Uh, well, are you ready for that? No, that one terrifies me. So, we have dabbled in making our own mead, and he came up with this one, and we called it Maple Hellfire. And I think we had it on the channel. We we have. So this is one that I made when we first started kind of brewing. Uh, my first go-round was okay. It didn't really turn out as well as I hoped it did. But my second shot at it, or second and third shot turned out pretty well. So what I started with was supposed to be a spiced orange. Yeah, meat. it was supposed, to be, like it was a supposed to be a warmer. Well, that didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. And since I still wasn't really happy with where it had turned out to begin with, I threw in a bottle of maple syrup and then started shoving habaneros in it. 
just on a whim. Um, and it turned out very well. Uh, that batch was really not that hot uh, to begin with. Um, you got a lot of a really good amount of maple flavor in a, in a small burn. Um, but then we took and set aside a certain amount into a smaller bottle and we crammed all those habaneros into this bottle and it's been sitting it's been sitting in a fridge for about what two years now two years and some change yeah. um this was initially going to be a gag gift for somebody but it seems like a cruel trick because now we're about to drink this <laughs> Yeah. Um, Dan and everybody else at Four Brothers, we are, if it's cool with y'all, we are planning on bringing some up for you. I just, I have to get another batch started, um, and it'll be, it'll be a couple months before I, it's, it's where I want it, where I can bring it up for you guys to try. Um, we're gonna, we won't drink all of this, so we'll bring this up with us too. Well, let's do this. <clears throat> Make it a little easier on ourselves. <sighs> oh, you smell something. That's all. That's just all. Oh. <laughs> Did you just say something? Yeah. We've been given milk to help subside this. One. So all you get is habanero. Yeah, if you've ever been maced, it's like the day after OC sprayed. Uh, it's like the day after, and you find that shirt. Kind of like that. Or if you're dumb and you decide to take it off and throw it in your trunk. Or if you mace yourself. And then you leave it, it you leave it in there over the day over the next day, and all that heat's in there. And as soon as you open that trunk. Yep. And we're about to drink it. God's help us. Yeah. So, this is one I would highly encourage doing small shots with. Um, it, it's, this is not, we're not, I mean, it's hot. I think we might be over exaggerating it, but it is, it is got some heat to it. Um, it's still good. You get an intense burst of habanero flavor with some maple. So it's, it's like a sweet. And then it's just hot. Yeah, I mean it's, but it's gone. Like it's yeah. it's it fades it fades. I mean it lingers, but the intensity fades fairly quickly. Yeah, I kind of want to try that with do something like that, with, but with the uh, Carolina Reapers. And... <laughs> anyway, so. I'm gonna go on a limb and guess you don't want that. Yeah, probably not. Uh, I'll drink some more of this. Yeah. Play a little ore log and uh, get some meat on the grill. Yeah, uh, it might be about time to check that smoker here in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, sadly my my horn decided to give up the ghost and his is about to, so we're on glass now. Yeah. Well, but anyway, yeah. Nice. How's oh, that that, taste? oh no. <laughs> uh, oh man. All right. 
Well, as always, be great to one another. Drink responsibly. Skull. Skull. And of course, happy fourth. Yeah, happy fourth. Um, what other announcements did we have? Um, we got that we have announcements that we have to confirm. Okay. So nothing yet. We're so teasing. nothing concrete, but there we have some things possibly in the works. So stay tuned for probably about the next six months before we can actually definitively nail something down. Um, I think that's really it. Yep. Thank you all again for sticking with us. Um, it's been a hell of a ride so far. Um, I believe we might have some changes to how we do things here here in a few months too. Um, we're just going to try to test a few things, see how they work. Um, but yeah, we have some ideas for the next year, so stay tuned for those. Um, yep. and, uh, I guess uh, I'll shut up and we'll see you guys next time. Sounds good to me. Yeah.